things. I'm not late, you're late. Um, also sorry about the stream crashing yesterday. Wi-Fi just started to give it on me. I can't do anything about that. Um, but, 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 um, this is also probably going to be a short one, because I've got plans pretty soon. I probably should have started this sooner, all things considered, but, um, I also had, I have, uh, I'm in a CTE program, and I do study for a, uh, the NOCD test, uh, which is a thing, and I'm begging it. <laughs> this isn't video game time. I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Okay, so we are back here. Okay, um, yep, still that good, but I need it to... Things... Uh, there it is. I'll tune up again, Pete. Welcome back. There it is. Alright. Sadly, since the game is separated into chapters, uh, you know. Kind of. Is this it just turning into a speedrun? I guess. Okay, cool. And Mr. Benjamin Brin has been awarded first place. As it should be. I mean, I'm just so amazing, aren't I? Uh, I love that. You are not here to learn to be painters. You are here to learn to be artists. And although I was hired to teach you, it is a sham. There is no teaching art. So don't just sit there slack, Jod! Mate! I do like him. Oh, he's actually a real person. I didn't even, I didn't even notice that the first time we were here. <laughs> How very wacky and fun these are. It's very zany. Very kitsch. Lucky for you, the Then yeah, now we're going to the abstract art one. Here you go, Mr. Brin. Feel each shape. The abstract one is definitely fun. Though I'm not a huge fan of it. Or sorry, I'm not a huge fan of abstract art in general, is rather what I mean. I want you all to take a long Dang. look at what Mr. Brin has done here. I love his voice too though. He's done a phenomenal job so far. You see, has reached down deep within himself. He's just fun. Created a masterpiece. <laughs> yes. I pray you have a stronghold on yourself, Mr. Brin. For I fear with talent like these, you may soon be swept away. Like that, 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 that just feels like a, um, stick ton of character that just is the teacher I always wanted. So this is where we were, so, yeah. Yeah? No, no, okay. No, I don't want to blank. Worry. Ah. Selling your soul. I wish I could read it. I've got a good feeling about you. We're going to make a lot of money together. Ooh, see, I don't like that. Uh, can I change my mind? No. Uh. I think I'm fucked up. Oh no. To actually making some money with one's art. 
Lord knows I could never do it. Maybe it won't be so bad. I mean, I can support us. So that's always good. So, now that you've made it, tell me, what are you going to do with it? Uh, it's just... Not quite what I was intending to go for, but... Very simple, but I like it. Hey, honey. <laughs> Your work's incredible. The new stuff is wowing us all. Um, but Ben, I've had an idea. You know, the critics are fickle. How about if you go back to your room? I wish I could have heard the rest of that. Hey, Ben. Don't even pick up this call, okay? I mean it. I'm just calling to inform you that I went to the doctor today, and, well, I'm, I'm going to be a little sick for a while, but really, I, I don't want you worrying about it at all. You're at such an important moment in your career, and I'm just so proud of you. This is nothing but a little bump in the road for me. I'm going to be I'm going to trust her. So don't even worry about calling me back. Just letting you know. Okay, Benny. I love you. I think I'm going to choose to trust that it'll be okay. Bit out of the ordinary for someone like me, but... But that's enough for me. Now... Um, You'll hear from the person who I believe is the single thing in the world my wife is most proud of. Fuck. Her magnum opus, so to speak. Uh, I think you all know who I'm talking about. Ooh. Benny, you ready to come up here? Um. That is why it's before your eyes, after all. Things like that. Say <laughs> something. Things like that can just really. What's Not wrong? Just... Why aren't you talking? That's beautiful imagery. Again. Look, you know I talk to big, important people. Fuck no, stop, 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 no, stop. Hey. Oh. Benny, guess who's calling? Well, here's the call. We're finished. We're done so kaput. Oh. Hey, B. Just calling to tell you. I think I'm still in the house. She's everywhere here, son. I right. can't move without bumping into her. Did me not answering the call really affect it this badly? Uh, wow, I just... I hope you understand. Fuck. I mean, just take whatever you want. With your mother gone, I'm hoping to finally live without all the clutter. <laughs> yeah, I think you did the right thing. By the way, he she looks see her like that. She just wanted you to focus on her work. That was the only thing that mattered to her.
What's that? It's so fascinating, son. Fuck, man. <laughs> Do this to me, game. I'm illegal. Oh, I'm Felios. Ooh. Oh, that's... Oh, and it's different art styles he's used throughout his life. Oh. Because that's always going to turn out abstract. Oh, fuck me, life. It's unbelievable, Benny. It's like she's standing in the room with us. Like I can see her in the paint. Passing day, inspired by the composition of his late mother, the composer Ellie Stevens. Is that is that really Chloe? Really? It's Chloe. In life. Your neighbor. My God, I can't believe this. It's been years. I, I just walked through the entire show. It's unbelievable. We look. I'd love to walk through it again with you. Maybe. I mean, if you were down for that. Thirty. I just can't believe that my entire childhood, I was living next to a bona fide genius. I should have guessed it. I mean, with all those little drawings you did. And your mom. I always heard her playing piano. I thought. Door. I honestly. I didn't wait, wait. She wrote the actual music. I thought that they were a thing. Like a couple. Who was that girlfriend then? I am confuzzled in that regard. I I thought that the um the girl he was talking to not that long ago, like in the um before the the, the I'm we're done. That was Chloe. I'm clearly not. Clear I I'm wrong about that. <laughs> but I wonder who that was. I mean, she just had such a similar design. Maybe I'm stupid and just really bad at faces. Also very, very possible. She was a genius. Like mother, like son, I guess. Can't relate, mate. Hey, so, not to be forward, but what are you doing after this? Maybe we could get a drink or something? They look at their 30s. I could be wrong, though. I think that's part of the game, though. Like, not really being able to tell where you are in time. So, it makes whenever he does eventually die all that much more impactful. Because we we already know Benny is dead. I'd really love to catch up. I, I can't believe everything that's happened to you. I want to hear all about it. The fuck? Now would you look at that? <laughs> I cannot believe my luck. Oh, it's him. We're back here. <laughs> Buddy, nothing's dying every day. You finally sink your hook into a. Whoa! Well, there you are. Well, hello, sir. If I realized, I would have cleaned up. I'm just used to fishing up a different class of soul. <laughs> I mean, sure, I've had scientists and a couple college athletes here or there, but. Whew, internationally renowned painter <laughs> the gatekeeper's gonna eat you up hey speaking of that why don't we give your story a test run maybe you help me out with the word choice since you know i'm still working on that Let's see if i'm getting all the strokes right i don't know if i should proper composition like i feel catch my drift. <laughs> i don't think this is the type of game that has a Right. Twist, secret, villain, or anything. But if there is, it, it would be, it would be him. You stands the soul of a great man. Now, would you describe yourself as a, a happy kid or a lonely one? A uh, a jovial child. 
a solitary one. Hey, not bad. Hmm. His childhood was a lonely one. Growing up as a strange, quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And, uh, what would you say your mom was? A composer or an accountant? Composer. His mother was a composer who, with the need to support her family, took a job as an accountant. How would you describe her as a teacher? More encouraging or demanding? Kind of like your champion or, or more like a taskmaster? I just... I mean, not an easy choice with his mother. It was a bit of both. I guess the conflicting part that I'm having right now is do I want to be... Do I want to be Benny? Or do I want to be me? Like, Benny is a vessel. Do I want this as more RPG? Or... Or how Benny would tell the story. I would personally describe her as demanding. But I think Benny would describe her as encouraging. I'm conflicted. I think, like, during his early days, she very much so... She didn't believe in any of his... She wanted him to just be... A pianist and follow because she had a talent for it, all that. And um she just was very dead set on doing something like that. Like mind you, we are voiceless for the most part, so it provides a bit of an issue in that regard, but uh, she never like listened to any of Benny's complaints, but I'll go encourage him. Therefore, as his piano teacher, she was ever encouraging, teaching him to recognize the greatness within. And how about that neighbor girl, huh? What was she to you? Was she your best friend or first love? Now be honest here. Now don't be bashful, man. You can tell me. We haven't seen much in the interactions, so that's the harder part. If we're trying to ham it up for the gatekeeper, we'll go for a slow. On the eve of his big audition, he completely dropped the ball. Wow, that's beautiful. I even noticed that. And blowing it the next day. Whoa, holy shit, that's gorgeous. Oh my god. Now the tower. Forward, his mother gave up on him. She knew he didn't have what it took to be a truly great musician. But little did she know, she just picked the wrong medium, right? See, when he was 12 years old... Hey, we got a got time. Sick, we got a time. And he had to stay inside for an entire year. Holy shit, well, wow. because a lot of these didn't have dates to them. a talent he'd forgotten. Painting. Sure, he loved finger painting. Child, color and shape were the first languages he learned to speak. But for the first time, he saw it in a more serious light. He was accepted into an exclusive. It's a toy boat. Where he caught yeah. the eye of an esteemed professor. This is interesting. This also the, the this is such an such an interesting physical like representation of the underworld. He I love it. Turned out to be a blessing, for it wasn't until he returned home to the house he grew up in that he began work on what would ultimately be considered his masterpiece. I said, "Shut up, you, you dumb dog, you mucky fowl." He really hates him, huh? He just wants—he just wants to lay him in them.
Oh. Does this any drunken saunter to him? Things, they're not regular gulls. Yeah. They're liar birds. They're what becomes of souls who try to lie to the gatekeeper. Oh. Once they try that, they're never allowed near her city again. Interesting. I get to feel them bad for not defending them right, so they just stay on with me. Living so... reminders of my oratory shortcomings. Yeah, good thinking. I'll be back to get you once I'm done with this one. So did I... Hopefully you won't be seeing him again. Did I... So did they respond to lies? I, they might respond to lies, which would... You're Fascinating. You know that? Just look at him. Poor fool doesn't know what he's in for. I so wait 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 so if they respond to lying if that's what they do they respond to lying right first off they started doing that earlier in the game might be important and I might want to replay just to take a look at what they what was being lied about the other thing is they were talking about him going back to his house being a good thing all that stuff and it being like his saving thing so was that last part of the story a hallucination or like a dream or maybe the last part of the story was um maybe there's more to come which would detail another fault failure of his i don't know i don't no. i don't think that i have dealt with people like you you're ashamed something something so terrible you're trying to blink right past it because uh -huh. if the gatekeeper knew she'd have to dream up fresh new hells to punish someone as worthless as you and i'm sure you're right i'm sure you're the rottenest soul that i ever fished out of that black muck and I this voice is phenomenal and sanitized my paw as soon as i laid eyes on you but it's too late for that. We're in this together. Showtime it is then. She'll see right through your fake lies as if they were glass. So I'm going to ask you again to start from the very beginning. And this time, I want the truth. Oh. Okay, let's begin. I'm day really slipped away, didn't it? Oh well, days have a tendency Not this. to that again. Now play the C major chord I taught you. Remember? Right, come on, keep blinking. I, I I haven't found it yet. Oh? You know my father once told me when I was a It's gotta be. This. It's gotta be stay here. Oh yes, these. We blinked past them, remember? Multiple Keep times. I need to see. Let's try this again. We actually need to keep my eyes open. Holy shit. Okay. Fuck. Your eyes open. I'm trying, man. I'm getting it. Hello? Yes, of course. This is Elle, his daughter. What? What is it? She knew 
she hadn't yet lived up to her father's expectations. And now, she never could. Right, right. Let's keep going. That's not too surprising. Ooh, the rhythm. You need to stay in time with the metronome, okay? You were a prodigal talent. I get it. Let's move. Fascinating. What? Did you just Those are melted. This isn't a trip down memory lane. I need you to stay focused. Yes, I understand about the cat. Let's keep. Here we go again. All of these scenes. Dog. I thought he was originally gonna be a child's imagination being overactive, but no, it's a dog. And blood. What happened to the cat? Oh my god. Oh shit. I swear to god, if you blink again. My God, the dog, the cat. That's what it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. The death of those cats must have taught you a terrifying lesson. I sure. That simply being alive wasn't enough. So then you went to work to make yourself sensational. Listen to him, Richard. Notice how the piano is off key now. It was entirely off key now. I wonder. Stay. Stare? Stay here? Wait. I'm not worried about who you. Hey, Elle, would you mind taking a quick walk with me down to my office? Here we go, this. We can focus him. Make sure he's staying engaged. Try to sleep a little softer. What is this? Show me the truth. I mean, what's the point? I mean, what's the point? What's the point? What do you mean? What's the point? What's the point? What does that mean? What Keep your eyes closed. What if he's never going to get any better? Okay. Let's not say that. Okay? We know we don't mean it. I know I don't. I know. I mean, what if he heard one of us saying something like that? I'd never forgive myself. Do you mean it right now? I... It's okay. He's hmm. asleep. Okay. I see. You got sick. You howled at the moon, at the top of your lungs. Airwolf? <laughs> no, I, I don't think this. I don't think this is going the supernatural route. Um. If it does, I'll be somewhat disappointed, I'll be honest. But. So you, I died young. Benny you died sick for young. A long time, weren't you? How? Sicker than healthy kids are supposed to get. I. Well, no matter how painful it gets, I need you to remember. We're almost at the end of this. Can I, I promise? Let's do it. This isn't video game time. 
I want you to figure out something actually productive to do while you're home from school. Go. We can figure it out. I'm Try sure we can. Well, hello, Benny. <laughs> it was your grandfather's, but I used it in college to write lyrics. <laughs> exactly. It was very artsy. Actually, I was just good at fooling your dad. <laughs> you think I was some kind of genius. So she's definitely... I'm surprised... Why she's giving this to us, given that she had the has the unresolved feelings about her father. Um. I, I, like. It feels. It would feel weird well, joking and like so far. being jovial and what you're going to do about this game. Home. Because like, it would just feel. Interesting. It's the same exact phrasing that our good old friend chose. I wonder if there's any relevance to that. That, because that's all we're up to. Man, this is wild. You really got into this, didn't you? I... Oh, here I am. But on the eve of his big audition... Oh! He completely dropped the ball. Ooh! Oh! Oh, that's how decisions are about to affect the story, aren't they? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to hit on boss. I don't want to hit escape again. I'm scared. Oh. Oh. I don't see this going well. Three, two, one. Staying up all night with his first love and blowing it the next day. First love? Okay, Benny. And you know, we really could have just slept on the beach another night. But I'm all... Interesting. That wasn't an outright rejection, so... Off the dance! We're going to be in there for about 30 minutes. So try to get comfortable. You're doing great, buddy. Just a little longer, okay? Knock, knock. Oh, how long those scenes You're go for? So if you don't, me, blink. I couldn't help but overhear Chloe reading aloud from what I think was your story the other night. Uh, I know, I know. I promised myself I wouldn't eavesdrop, but I would really love to read it if you'd let me. What do you say? You know I'm such a big fan of anything you do. I just go in there and tell him you love him. I'm telling you, I just can't. I just not right now. Okay, don't worry. Just go to bed. I'll talk. To you. Hey, B. Just want you to know that Mom loved your story. She's just, you know, I think it was just very emotional for her to read. But I, I thought it was great. I mean, look at this. His childhood was a lonely one, growing up a strange and quiet child in an isolated seaside town. And I'm certainly bummed you feel that way. But what I want to know is, where did you learn to write so well? All those cool words. It reads like Dickens. <laughs> really just very cool stuff, kiddo. You should be very proud, okay? Okay. Oh, you're right. Mosey started to... The birds most started to go off when you start to talk about the art and so the writing. 
So, did he want to be the, be a visual artist, but actually be a writer instead? Is that? He was the worst grin to ever live. He didn't even try to fight the disease in inside him. He just lay down and died. That Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. It's it's beautiful, but it's just haunting. So if he's ever in pain, all he needs to do is press that red button and the drug will administer itself. Thank you so much. You know, I know my wife would normally want to thank you herself. No, I understand. It hits mothers the hardest, this sort of thing. Thank you for understanding. It's been... Bless. It's been a rough one. Nothing. Oh, that's a representation of his pain. Oh. Hey, Eddie. Yeah, hey man, it's Richard. Listen, I know Elle's been missing in action, but I just want you to understand things have taken a really bad turn here. Yeah, no, that's not going to be possible. To be honest, your whole tone is pissing me off right now. Yes, I understand you have a business to run. It's a very cliche thing to say to me in a time like this. Okay, well, well, then I guess all I can say is screw you too. I said, screw you too. Yeah, man, that's all I got. I like him. I like the dad a lot. Sorry. Right. Hey, this isn't funny, you know. What, you're too scared to talk to me? Well, just so you know, I know you're faking. Because if you were really sick, like actually sick, you'd have told me already. I have to. She's in denial. Buddy, did you just throw something? Oh, God. I remember when you were just four years old. Mom was going through a pretty tough time. Interesting how... <sighs> pain gets less when someone's around. Is that him distracting himself, or is there some reason for that? I I can't be mad at Chloe, though. She's in denial. She doesn't want to believe her friend or lover is terminally ill and is dying, and I, I get that. 
I get that. That's really, really tough feeling to swallow and just. I mean, fuck, man. Just fuck. I really like the father. He's just been a real, really, really upstanding guy and just really supportive of Benny no matter what. And his wife, I mean, great dude. Not as tough as now, but yeah, her music had been rejected. And she's having trouble adjusting to her quiet little life out here. And I feared that yeah, I was losing her. But then you played this on the piano. And just her little hands reaching up for the keys. She just couldn't believe how gifted you were. And once she heard that, well, it was like you brought her right back to me. So, I was wondering if maybe you could do that trick again. Try closing your eyes. See if you can remember. All right, for you, Dad. Figure out how to play that. Oh, and I can see the ivy in the corner. I can see the ivy in the corner. No. Oh, too cruel, man. Keep playing B. You can't. Fuck, I didn't want to blink. Get well soon! <laughs> Give me the meds. Is that an- Oh, it's an oxygen tank! Come on, get this statue, this to me. Fucking cruel. Oh, that's genuinely cruel. Oh. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck. Ah. Grab my own cat real quick. He was making me sad. Me so much. He was being very, very mean to me. I don't appreciate it, frankly. Okay, okay, I know you don't like it. Okay, fine. Fine, to the bed you can go. I know. I like being held, and I wanted to hold you because it made me happy. Uh -oh. I don't have to my life support, please. What are you doing, Elle? She's gonna make you sick. Oh, it's okay. I'm just so happy she's here. We've got to show this cat some real love. 
She's been through more than we can even imagine. Oh, her poor fur. Richard, we have to give Ernie a haircut, okay? Give her a sashimi plate. <laughs> what? What? I think she more than deserves it. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> Twenty nine missed calls. Here. What do you mean she hasn't been over? Like, ah, oh. like she didn't even care to visit? No, I mean, I don't think he's told her. And you're just letting you're just letting that be? I don't know her step. You know how Benny is. She lost her mother a year ago. You knew that, right? No, but what does that have to do with? Okay, do we have her dad's number? I don't know. Check the book. Okay, I'm calling now. Honey. Ah, oh, fuck. Was that supposed to administer med medication? Is that the purpose of it? Maybe it's supposed to administer medication, not actually signal that I'm in pain. Oh my god, you're an idiot. You do realize this is really nothing special to me. I've seen this all before. I, um... I was thinking about what you said in the story the other day. Oh. And how I reacted to it. And I feel kind of bad. Yeah, it was better the reaction than I expected. But... Hey! Mm. What are you looking at? Don't look up there. Look at me. I'm talking to you. I gotta find out what this says, though. What is... Star? Is that gonna say stars? Stay... Here. Stay here. Yeah, I can even see the letters now. I want to give you something. Right here. But I think I don't want to be in the room when you see what it is. So maybe if you close your eyes, I can give it to you and I'm going to leave. Close your fucking, eyes now, okay? Fucking cheesy as shit. Oh, oh, I should close my eyes. Oh no, okay. It's not. Alright. I know, right, Lantern? Not cool. Oh, oh. oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, it's. The mouse movements are getting slower. Oh, the mouse movements are getting. I can't even do anything. Look, I. Oh. Oh, fuck up. What is that? It's something new I'm working on. So you're writing again? Ah, it's just a melody that came to me. It feels good to play it. It's sad. Yeah, well. I'm choking sad. up. But do you like it? I mean, yeah. I love everything you do. What do you like about it? Ah, uh, not this old trap. Go on. <laughs> I'm waiting. The uh, death of anyone who's in a relationship like... with an artist. Like... Like if the unspeakable darkness I'm carrying can be so well expressed, maybe it's not so unspeakable. I love... Didn't I? Bastion. Yeah. I mean, that was pretty good. I feel it's rather Lovecraftian in a way. And I like more emotional way. But still. Come on. Can I even do any? I can't even eat the fucking sandwich anymore. I can't even listen anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, look at how slow my mouse is. Oh. Uh. Come on. Come on. That's how we ended up here. You know, for a while now, I've wondered if I'm just not a good enough storyteller. If I just don't have grand enough words, can't tell grand enough stories. That's... But grand words and stories, I think they may be overrated. Is that how we ended up here? I know just what to tell her. That... Watch for her now. I've seen the gatekeeper take many forms depending on the soul I bring her. But once you see her, you'll know. It's gonna be my mother. Or not my mother, but ben Benny's mother. I should go get ready. The boat looks we got this. a lot more habitable now. Beautiful. Like, in the non-haunting way. Like, the, the other place was hauntingly beautiful, but this is just... beautiful. I can't tell if the boat has always looked this nice, or if it only looks that way to the rephrased lighting. Fucking metaphors and shit. <laughs> it's like a giant closed eye in the sky right there, by the way. Which I doubt is a coincidence, considering how... Blinking in your eye is the whole thing with this game. I wasn't expecting the cat. Wasn't expecting ethereal cat. She is. Wish me luck. You good luck, buddy. Gatekeeper. Before you sits the soul of a child who died before he could grow old. That means. She's ready to hear your story. Time stopped. What? The metronome stopped. You know, I never told you how much I loved your story. Oh, it's, it's really so imaginative. And the person you wrote about is such an interesting and intense guy. My only issue was... The soft purring of the cat. I didn't like him very much. So, I wanted to read you something I wrote for you. Oh, and it was the story that was the Benny I've known told before. Years now. Getting it's full... The bullshit symbolism. Fuck you. Can't do that to my emotions, man. <laughs> oh, God. I can't. The story that you were telling the first time was the story that was being bitten, but she didn't like that Benny because it wasn't him, and that's exactly what the whole thing with the gatekeeper is right now. Or, like, not gatekeeper, but fucking Catman. Oh, okay. I can't do this to me. You really can't. You're fucking mean. Great life of Benjamin Brin. You. Benjamin Brin was born into an ordinary uh -huh. home. To an ordinary mother and father in a small town by the sea. His mother was a composer, or at least that's what she dreamed she'd be. So when her own dreams didn't pan out, she began to dream for him. But then when he was, he was just eleven years old, he got sick and was forced to stay inside for an entire year. And in that year, he began to worry that he hadn't lived enough. So he made up a story. The man is going full kind of a show joke. He was joking. God damn it. Even joked me. Clear. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Joke to man is not going all kind of a shoujo and I mean it's not heart arrhythmia. Not heart arrhythmia is always right about that. But it is terminal illness. I was right about that. And it wanna be right. 
I just guessed it because of like it didn't seem just like a panic attack that he had on stage. It seemed like something more serious and it was it fucking was. Right. Of the great life he thought he wanted to live. Which only made him forget the great life he already had. How he had filled a new home. Home with light and joy and promise. How he met a girl, his neighbor, who felt all alone in the world, and he made her feel okay. And how, even when he was sick, he still gave his parents hope. How he reminded them we of exactly you. who they were, after they had almost forgotten. So when he knew he was going to go, he was okay. <laughs> he a fucking ugly cry. He lived a great life. A full life. And he was everything he needed to be. Oh, that's a fucking ugly crap. The metronome symbolizes time being allowed to pass again. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> close your eyes now. Keep them closed. <laughs> She's gonna make you in. Go on. You know what to do. Oh, God. Why is he smiling like that? He must be somewhere that he likes. Oh, it's the cadets too. Ah, oh, fuck. I wanna be oh, God damn it, Jay. Me two point oh for you. Uh oh. Uh and when you need somebody, <laughs> you're gonna feel uh -oh. the same way. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna say I love you. Uh, they, they mentioned there being her trying to write lyrics, and I'm assuming that these are what that is. Fuck. <laughs> Just, uh, I did a phenomenal job. This game is amazing. Uh, I'm glad I didn't try to finish it in one sitting. I don't know why, but something about not finishing it in one sitting really allowed everything to sit in a bit better. Uh, closure. Interesting how it's closure here, even though the game is called Before Your Eyes. Uh, I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a life that was long and like full of mistakes, uh, and that's why it was Before Your Eyes because like it would just flash by so quickly, even though it was such a long life and. It would just would feel like it was one mistake from the next, but it wasn't. It was short life that just was filled with wanting to be longer and just the story of what that life, what he wanted that life to look like. It's just, oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. That's just... That's a lot of kicks. I can't believe there's so many Kickstarter backers that I never heard of this game until PewDiePie had picked it up for his video. I mean, look at all these people that saw such potential a project. I mean... I just thought this game was going to be a fun gimmick when I first heard about it. 
you know, like, oh, look, it's a game that's controlled by your eyes, and that's how you make decisions and stuff, but then this just fucking emotional it's, I don't know what to call it, because it's it's not some fault in our stars bullshit, you know, it doesn't doesn't pull any of the cheap, stupid tricks. It doesn't, it doesn't even rely on like you knowing that he's going to die to make it sad. I don't even think I don't even think that the whole uh, pulling the under the rug is what makes it sad. It's the emotion and the voice acting, the, the way the story is told by both the mother and the cat fucker as you blink and it's fucking seamless phenomenal it's fucking phenomenal oh my god look at all the kickstarter backers wow This game is definitely best played with the whole blinking thing intact. Yeah, I, I don't know if this game can be ported to consoles for that very reason. Like, would this even work well as a console game? How would they, how would they transfer the blinking mechanic? Sure, we could rig up an old connect or something, but I don't. I think the effect would be lost. Also, this end credits music is just. Oh, that's my playlist of what I want for music I need to sob to, uh, with an indomitable, cold, um, uh, fucking morphogenetic sorrow. God, oh. And of course, like, the original Stay Here takes on a whole different meaning. Thankfully, I don't think too much got cut out. This game seems to have a fucking godly timing with wanting to... 12 chapters, huh? I... I think that's all it needed, though. I mean... I'm on, um, I'm on... Mobile Hotspot, so it's gonna be a shit quality. I just wanted to give closing words, because it feels... It feels wrong of me not to... Do my final thoughts on a game like this. You know? Um, let me just turn on my camera for my closing thoughts. There we are. Hi. Hey. Uh, let me turn on full cam, actually. That's only appropriate. This game was something else entirely. I don't know if I've played a game like it. The I've had games make me cry and give me such powerful emotions before. That's not... That's not new for me. I... I... It's some sort of combination of the betrayal story and... I'll probably be talking about this game next stream, realistically, when I finally have time to just... sit and digest my thoughts, because they're very dense. My thoughts are very dense. Because it's just such a... Can't get a game. <laughs> but I loved Before Your Eyes. It is one of the best games I've played in it. I can't say in years because I've played a lot of good games recently. <laughs> but 2021 game of the year possibility? I mean, sure, there's a lot of other things to come out in 2021 still, but. But damn, this is a strong contender. I mean, Doom Eternal, I think, was still my game of the year for 2020, unless... And maybe Astral Chain also rivaled it, but... So I have a tendency to find my game of the year pretty early on. I don't know why, I just do. I guess probably because, like, a lot of the big budget releases are pushed out towards the end of the year. For the sake of trying to make them, um, marketable to the, um, 
awards ceremonies. And so we get the more artsy games. Not that Doom Eternal is artsy. I mean, it's beautiful, but not, not for the reason any of these other games I've played recently are. But we seem to get a lot more of the artsier games um, earlier in the year. We get like the big AAA bullshit. I don't dislike AAA games. There's a lot of crap. You know, there's just a 